I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne, mm -hmm. high and lifted up. Yes. His train filled the temple. Mm -hmm. Above it stood the seraphims. Each had six wings. With twain, he covered his face. With twain, he covered his feet. With twain, he did fly. Yes. And one unto another, here it is, and said, Holy, Holy, holy. Yes. Yeah. The Lord, the, the holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Yes. The whole earth, yes. the whole earth is yes. full of his glory. Yes. Watch it. Here it go. The post. <laughs> well, My God. Well. The post of the door moved at the voice of him who cried and the house was filled with smoke. Oh, then I said, this is Isaiah, woe is me for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. Oh. And I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. Mm -hmm. Watch it. For mine eyes have seen yeah, put a pin in that. Mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one flew, uh, then one of the seraphims flew unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, This has touched thy lips. And thy iniquities are taken away. Well, and thy sin purged. Yes. Here we go. Conclusion. Also, <laughs> I heard the voice of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Whom shall I send? Well, hmm. And who will go for us? Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. Then said, I said, here am I, send me. As you take your seats, we're going to lift this thought up but for a few moments. I saw something. God now, we thank you for this moment. Thank you for this day set aside. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. God now, God now, you 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 prepare this meal in private. No. Now, God, give me the strength to serve it in public. Yes. Not just for your people, but as for me as well. Yes. God, now, stop my stammering tongue. Mm -hmm. God, right. now, let these your people hear the voice of a true and living God and not just the voice of a mere mortal man. And now, God, it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Bless God. I saw something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I read those verses to give us context, but I'm going to launch right there in verse number one. Isaiah said, in the year that the king died, he said he saw something. Yes, he did. That is the title of my sermon this morning. I saw something. All right. I heard, I heard it once said that life itself is not measured by the breaths we take. Mm. Instead, it's measured by the moment that life takes our breath away. Mm. Now, whether, whether, whether it's anxiety, tranquility, trauma, or drama, life, good or bad, has its significant moments that can take our breath away. Are you with me? Yes, yes. Now, now I'm, I'm, I'm jumping right in. I, I'm going to cut across the field right here. Takes your breath away. Am I the only one in the room who is shocked 
in a state of total disbelief on Wednesday morning, November 9th, 2016, when I saw the news report and found out who the 45th president was going to be. Are y'all with me this morning? Maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't that. Maybe uh, it was when we saw the news report on April 4th, well. 1968, that our, our, our leader, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., was pronounced dead. Talk about the moment that life takes your breath away. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was celebrated that unforgettable moment in your life when you had finally received that special toy that you had hoped for for Christmas. <laughs> or maybe, maybe that breathtaking moment could have been for you it was at the birth of your child. Or maybe, maybe even the day you got saved. Or, or, or how about this one? Or maybe it was in that difficult moment that you realized if it had not been a God on my side, where would I be? Can I get a witness this morning? I'm telling y'all, I saw something. Yeah. 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 Here it go. Me and Isaiah, we got something in common in this text. He saw something, and I saw something. My brothers and my sisters, let us take a look at this breathtaking, life-changing moment that's here in today's text. Here it is, verse 1. Isaiah said, ah, in the year King Huzziah died, Huzziah died, I saw the Lord. Stop right there. Ah, hey, uh, what was you looking at before the king died? <laughs> I'm going to hold my head down, look at my paper, and don't y'all look at nobody else. Ask somebody, who's your king? 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 What you looking at? What you looking at? What you looking at? Yeah, 50 years. 50 years, my brothers and sister. Hosiah was the king. And his, during his reign, he was a blessing to the children of Israel. Now, during this time, God did not allow them to see no poverty, no barrenness, no debt, no depletion. Are y'all with me? No famine, no, 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 no lack. Uh -huh. Instead, they saw abundance. Yeah, they saw blessings. They saw plenty. Is there anybody in the community that saw something this morning? They saw prosperity. And I might as well drop this on you. The reason why they saw these things and didn't see those other things is because, write this down, when God sows a sovereign seed, he always sows sovereign support. Oh, my God. One more time. When God sows a sovereign seed, he also sows sovereign support. Have you ever seen a child of God file, uh, 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 what is that, the delinquent child support? Yeah, because God is a great provider. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. They were a people doing well, just like you here at Community. But hear me clearly and hear me good. Let us not get so used to seeing our blessings in our own lives that we forget to give thanks to whom all blessings fall. Yes. Yeah. Isaiah, I'm in the text. Isaiah said, I saw something. Uh -huh. Well, here, here's a footnote to the preachers. The who in the text is Isaiah. The what is the Lord. And the how is high and lifted up. Here it goes. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Yeah, yeah. he was seated on a throne. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that's what he saw this morning. I'm glad, I'm glad that's what he saw this morning. I'm glad he didn't see the president. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm glad he didn't see the pastor. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad he didn't see his bank account. I'm glad he didn't see his house. I'm glad he didn't see his degrees. I'm glad he didn't see his education. I'm glad he didn't see the car that he, he drives. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord. Yeah. Yes, yes. I saw, I saw God's glory. Isaiah saw God in his loftiness. 
Yeah. Isaiah is claiming this morning that he saw God like he never seen God before. Right. Is there anybody here who can testify with me yeah. on Facebook yeah. and here in Plainfield at Community Church of God? You seen God like you've never seen yeah. him before. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. It was just a few months ago. We were not here, but we were all in our home. Come on now, we saw God like we never saw him before. It was just a few months ago, we had a virus running rampant with no vaccine. That's a shout right there. Yeah, have you seen God like you've never seen him before? Yeah, tell your neighbor, I saw something. I saw something. Saw something. Yeah, yeah. You saw something like I saw something. Somebody in here, and I heard it in Sunday school, you seen him show up as a doctor. Yeah. In the time of sickness. Somebody seen him show up as shelter and a roof over your head. You saw something this morning. Somebody saw God show up and turn your insecurities into possibilities. Can I get a witness this morning? You saw something. You saw him when he turned your struggle into strength. You saw him when he showed up and turned your sorrow into gladness. You saw him when he turned your pain into purpose. Am I the only one in the room that saw something this morning? You saw him show up and turn that situation around because you saw something. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yeah. You do know we serve a God that can turn it around, right? No matter what your it is, God can turn it around. Yeah. Isaiah said, I saw the train of his robe fill the temple. Above him were some seraphim. I love this part right here. Each had six wings. With two, they covered their faces. The other two, they covered their feet. And the other two, they did fly. Preachers, here it go. And they cried, holy, 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 the Lord Almighty to one another. Now I want y'all to understand something. Here's a Here's a, here's a footnote right here. In the Hebrew, when a word is, import, is, is important, it's emphasized three times. That's why they said, holy, holy, holy. Well, one, he's holy because he is holy. Two, he is holy because he's more holy. Three, he is holy because he's most holy. I thought I'd just drop that on you right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Now sometimes in the Greek, when a word is important, it is said twice. That's why Jesus would, would, would on a common basis say what? Verily, verily. I got a Bible reader in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verily, verily. That's in the Greek. Well, I got a confession to make. I don't speak Greek. And I don't speak Hebrew. We'll say that. <laughs> so I'll just use an exclamation point to tell you why my God, our God, is holy. He's holy, yeah, in his majesty. Yeah. His greatness is supreme. Yeah. He's holy, yeah, in his might because it's unmovable. He's holy in his love because it's unchangeable. He's holy beyond explanation. He's holy beyond containment. They cried, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. Here it is. And at the sound of the voice of, and the doorpost shook. One more time. I don't want to rush that. He was in a room. The train and folk, smoke filled the temple. He's seeing God like he'd never seen him before, uh -huh. and the doorpost shook. Uh -huh. I'm trying to tell you, 
that praise had got so contagious that the door post got in on the praise. Boy, sometimes, sometimes when you see God like you've never seen him before, he's going to have to enlarge the room to hold your praise. He broke out in such a praise that the foundations had shook. He broke out in such a praise that the doorpost shook. That they had to, that this praise was so combustionable, it could not be contained. It had to make room. Yeah. Hashtag that. God will make room for your praise when you see something. Yeah. Yes, he will. Yeah. The temple had to make room for this kind of praise. When Isaiah saw all this, he had to do something and he had to say something. He said, whoa. Yeah, I'm undone. And can I be transparent and confess that I'm undone too? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to confess it's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Move over, Isaiah. Uh, yeah, move over, Isaiah, this one. Because, because, because you're not the only one who is undone this morning. If the truth be told, and you know what? I'm going to tell it. We all, yeah, have some undoneness about us. Amen. All of us have some undoneness. My, my brothers and my sisters, anytime, anytime, here's a shout right here, anytime that God can show you you and show you him at the same time and not be consumed, then that's a shout right there. Who else, who else but a loving and caring God could treat us in such a way? When Isaiah saw this, it birthed a confession. He said, I'm a man of unclean lips. I am a sinner. Yeah. But it also, also, he saw one of the angels fly over to him and with a call from the oil altar, touched his lips and said, your sins are now taken away. Right. Tell your neighbor right here. It's some stuff that just got to be burnt off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't like my little word. But some stuff. Just got to be burned off. I'm glad Isaiah saw something this morning that changed his life. And I'm more excited that Isaiah heard something that changed his talk. Isaiah heard something. After hearing the voice of the Lord, he moves from watching confession to commission. He heard the voice of the Lord say, who shall I send? And who will go for us? Here it go right here. Here am I, send me. The Lord not only gave him something to look at, but the Lord also gave him a new direction. Yeah, it's all I'm out right there, I'm right there, I'm right there. He said, here am I, send me. He puts Isaiah in a new direction to lead his people. He changes his perception of how he sees God's people. He changes his talk and he changes his walk. He gives him a new direction and he gives him a new vocabulary. And when Isaiah started talking some of that new stuff, this is some of the stuff that he said. Uh Yeah. For unto us, a child is born, and a son is given. He also said, every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain made low. Isaiah said, the grass will wither. And the flowers will fade away. But the word of God endureth forever. He said, young men do stumble and fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Run and not get tired. They will walk and not get weary. Isaiah, I need you to move over one more time again. I don't know how long, how long it took for Isaiah to see something before it changed his walk and his talk. 
But I want to confess this morning, it took me 27 years. Yeah. Took me 27 years to change my direction. It took 27 years for me to see God like I'd never seen him before. When, he, when I saw something, yeah, it changed my talk. I saw something 27 years ago that I've never seen before in my life. I saw how God kept me, yeah, through my foolishness, my undoneness, and my mess, yeah, and I saw him to be a keeper. I saw God to be my healer because I have the scars to prove it. I saw God as my deliverer because he delivered me. I'm telling y'all, I saw something. I saw God or how he saved me because he is my savior. When I saw these things, can I tell you what I heard after I saw these things? I might as well stop right here. Please don't think the, 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 the MTA over in New York was the first people that ever came up with the slogan, if you see something, say something. It's right here in the text. It's right here in the text. Yeah, you see something, you say something. So after I saw something, let me tell you what I heard. I heard, I heard, I heard. If we confess our sins, that God himself is faithful, yeah, and just, and he will forgive us. That's good news this morning. I heard some good news this morning. I heard that God himself, watch this, goes before us, and he will never, never leave us. Don't be afraid nor discouraged, my brothers and sisters. I heard that God will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is staying on him. Can I tell you what I heard after I saw something? I heard that God gives strength to the weary. Help me, Jesus. And he gives power to the weak. Can I tell you what I heard? I heard that God so loved the world. Yeah. <laughs> That he gave his only begotten son. That whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I heard something this morning. I heard that God will blot out my sins 